that we often think of evolution as being this process of nature, red in tooth and claw, a, a sort of a survival of the fittest mechanism. But when you look at the world around you, that, that's not what we actually see. What we see is what Charles Darwin called the contented face of nature, where species are co-evolved and live in balance with other species. Um, and even humans are like that um, to some extent. Among the tribal people I've worked with in New Guinea, for example, there are people who have taboos about hunting particular animals that are, that are very important for the environment. And so a balance is created because uh, if, if, those, if people did hunt those animals, for example, they would quickly cause their extinction and impoverish the whole environment. So people bene benefit from giving something up, if you want. And that's the essence of coevolution. And uh, it's a very, very powerful force. It, it is what has created Gaia, as, as James Lovelock described it, this world which acts as a coherent whole. That's a result of coevolution.